Hello everybody and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video on the PlayStation 3. This is part number 8 of my series to get all 29 of the PSN trophies on Minecraft with a brand new world, brand new seed and a brand new PSN ID. So far, if you've been following the series, you'll know that we've got 24 of the 29 available trophies and we now have just 5 left to go. Today, we're probably only going to get one trophy, but this is a big one and it's going to need a lot of work. Uh, I've had to do some preparation work off camera, uh, but we're going to do the bulk of the work in the video. Uh, I'm going to try and give you a few pointers on this. I've done this trophy before on another ID, uh, but this is the first time I've set out just to get the trophy uh, no other no other sort of uh, motive behind this we're just going to try and do this as quickly as we can we basically need to build ourselves a rail cart uh, which is 500 blocks long in a straight line and then we'll get a trophy for traveling along that track uh, which hopefully we'll do at the end of the video. Now that takes a lot of material which is why I've had to do some prep work off camera um, part of the prep work is gathering up enough uh, iron and rails to be able to obviously do 500 tracks. We also needed redstone, and also something I've picked up from previous experience. When you when you do this and you build yourself a rail cart track in a straight line, uh, Enderman. I've got a nasty habit of coming along and nicking the blocks from underneath your rail track, and then you lo you lose the rail, and then one day you'll be traveling along it and just fall through the gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using stone bricks for my track uh, to try and make sure that those pesky Endermen won't go breaking it. Um, but we've got a lot to build, so we're going to start off with, what do we need first of all? As you can see, I've got some uh, rails already made, <clears throat> about three, three and a half stacks, but we need m even more than that, believe it or not. Um, those ones I've actually stolen from an abandoned mine shaft, which I found while mining. Uh, so I've actually I've done quite well there. I've not needed quite as much iron as I would have done otherwise. Uh, but what we also need, um, and let's, let's do those first, actually. Let's get this out of the way. So I'm looking to make... Uh, I need to have around 400 rails in total. Um, so let's have a look. So that's uh, 180, 360. Okay, that's probably about enough actually. That's probably about enough rails. Uh, what we're also going to make is a few powered rails, although I'm not going to go crazy on that. What I'm going to use instead of powered rails is detector rails. I don't know if you've used detector rails before, but detector rails basically fire up and, and power the rail uh, every time you, you travel across it. And what you need to do that is some pressure plates. Uh, they have to be stone pressure plates. Uh, we don't need that many of these. I've written it down here. Give us a second. 14 pressure plates. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think that's enough. Uh, now the only trouble is my inventory is so full up that I'm dropping this stuff. So let me just make a little bit of space for a second. I don't need any more gold, I don't think. Uh, so back to the crafting table and we were making ourselves some powered, sorry, detector rails. Uh, detector rails, I want about 80 of these. So uh, this is going to be difficult to count because they're going to fall out of my inventory. Okay, let's just do it anyway. Let's use up all of the pressure plates. That should tell us. Uh, across to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that gives us 84, that's exactly right, 84 detector rails. I believe that's exactly what I need. So the last thing I'm going to build here is stone bricks. I've got some uh, smooth stone or normal stone, as you can see. But I'm going to turn all of that now into stone bricks. And hopefully that should give me about 500. Uh, like I said, I've done a little bit more extra prep work. What I've done is I've marked out every 100 blocks in a straight line uh, so that I know roughly where I'm going. So I've, I've picked a position, I've checked on the map. It's given me a good chance actually to have a look around and see a bit more of my world actually. Um, have I got enough? Because I didn't have all of it. Let's, let's grab the last few bits here. What's going on out there? There's a chicken out there. Hello. Um, right, sorry, back to here. Uh, let's go to stone bricks, which are here. And just make the last few of those. Right, that should be all we need. I'm going to get rid of that last, that odd four. Shouldn't need those. Shouldn't need the gold. Uh, everything else I'm taking with me just in case. Um, I've picked a spot and marked a spot where I want to do this. It's going to be behind my house. And at some point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a proper staircase sort of leading up so this is a bit more convenient to get to. But that's not for today. Today, we just want to get the track built. Um, I'm going to try and fit this into one episode if possible and try and do it without doing any spinning ahead. So this is where my track is going to start and it's going to go 500 blocks that way. I've actually measured out about 505 just to make sure. Uh, so what I need to do first and foremost is, hold on, let's just make sure I've got everything I need. 
yeah, I think I'm good to go. I think I've got everything there. So let's let's just get started. First of all, we need uh, a shovel, uh, and we're gonna keep everything dead straight. So that means we're gonna have to, on some occasions, we're gonna have to dig through the ground. Um, and on other occasions, we're gonna have to build bridges above it. Ah, here we go straight away. We've had a slight complication, but not. This isn't a major issue. We can build up over this. It's fine. Uh, just got to be careful we don't get attacked by um, beasties as we're travelling backwards and forwards on this thing. So we need to clear the way a little. Uh, I've brought a stack of dirt with me as well just so I can deal with these sort of situations where I need to climb up and down. Uh, like, like I say, what we're going to do is the cart's going to go in a dead straight track. Um, dead straight line, I should say. What I'm not actually certain of is whether um, you're allowed to go up and down. So, you know, maybe I would have been allowed to go up and down these hills rather than cutting through them. Um, but I don't want to risk it. I want to do this all in one video. And the last thing I want to do is go up and down and do 500, uh, 500 blocks, which is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Uh, I didn't want to do all of that and then find out that actually, no, you're not allowed to go up and down. And then I'd have to start all over again. So my decision was to <clears throat> to, to start, uh, sorry, to keep the whole thing in a dead straight line from the start. Uh, that makes it nice and simple. So hopefully the route I've chosen, we've got this initial hill here with some trees that we need to get out of the way. Um, let me just double check, I need to be at level 76, okay so I've gone slightly low but that's fine, lower is better than high. Um, so I'm going to do this dead straight line uh, and then we're going to go back and we're going to drop these stone bricks in. Like I said the stone bricks really may not be necessary to be honest, the, the, the issue with the Enderman isn't that big a deal um, but it used to really really annoy me in my other world where I'd had this rail, rail, rail track, um, railroad track all built and looking nice and then I'd come out and try to travel along it. And uh, yeah, when I get there, I find that an Enderman has nicked it. It'd be, it was, most of it was done on dirt, dirt blocks to be fair. And an Enderman does love a dirt block. But they would come along and nick the dirt block. And obviously by taking the dirt block, the rail had nothing to sit on and it would, it would drop away. Uh, just very frustrating. It felt like I was constantly repairing my railroad. It's a shame I'm going to lose those logs, but perhaps I'll get them. Perhaps I'll come back for them. Um, oh, hold on. Um, let's just get rid of you. So what I've done, like I say, is every 100 blocks, I only need 500, uh, I'm going 500 blocks in total, but just so that I know where I'm uh, going to, I've marked, I've, I've been through the route and marked every oops, every 100 blocks um, as accurately as I could. I don't know if it's exactly 100, but as accurately as I could, I put uh, a stone brick so that I know when I'm there, um, that I'm at the 100 mark, and I've got six of those markers. The first one you've already seen. Um, so there was one at 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 uh, block mark. What's stopping me from placing here? Something stopping me. There we go. Um, we can come out of crouch now. In fact, I didn't really. So it's back up along here. So hopefully I'm going to get this all done in one video. Uh, I may I may have to spin ahead at some point. We'll see how we're doing time-wise. Uh, but like I said, what I'd really like to do is... Uh, it's that vines. God, they're annoying. You know what? I may have to um, I may have to chop the tree down at some point because that could be a problem when you're traveling along it. You could get caught up on it. Um, like I say, after we've uh, we've got the trophy for this, I am planning to actually make use of it. I'm going to make myself a nice little train station down there with a little staircase to get to it. Um, see what I mean about the vines? How that's going to be a problem? I think. Um, let's just quickly. I shouldn't really stack up with these, but never mind. Um, let's just get that out of the way. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to build myself a nice little train station with a nice little staircase leading up to it. Um, and hopefully once this trophy challenge is all over, I'm going to get a chance to do a bit more in my world. And um, I've seen some, some nice places, some nice areas, uh, as I've been doing and preparing for this video. I've seen some nice areas of the map, and I'd like to, I'd like to expand a little and, and build outside of this jungle. Um, there we go, that's our first stack of stone bricks gone. Uh, let's do this as quickly as we can now. I think there may be, I think there's a, a little bit more here where there's some more trees that get in the way. Uh, but beyond this, ah, oh, what happened there? Oh, those vines are such a pain. Uh, right, let's get a stack of dirt uh, so that I can pile up um, and get back on track. See, the vines are already growing. Did you see that? They're already growing on my track. Um, I think they may cause us a problem as time goes on. These jungle biomes are more trouble than they're worth honestly uh, but yeah what we'll do is we'll, we'll worry about that another time we don't need to worry about that right now um, let's just back up along here let's just check the roots a few more vines to deal with yeah I'm gonna have to clear some more trees um, yeah along here we do cross a couple of different biomes actually um, hold on. sorry 
while I concentrate. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we cross a few different biomes, and there's one area in particular that I really like the look of. I feel like uh, I want to build my main town out in this particular area. So it's a nice open grassy area. There's a few big ravines, and they're right towards where the end of the track's going to be. You'll see it soon. There we go. This is our first 100 block marker. Uh, I can't quite reach. Um, right at the end, we've got a really weird area where there's some uh, there's floating islands and there's, uh, there's rocks and, and grass and stuff floating up in the air, which is all a bit odd. Um, so what we're going to be having here, and I've just realised there's something that I've forgotten to build, but it's okay. I brought a carting table with me just in case. Um, redstone torches. Uh, let's do that quickly. We are going to have a few powered rails. And the powered rails need redstone torches. Uh, I haven't already made them, have I? No. One, two, three, four, five, six is all I should need. Let's just get rid of you. Don't need that now. Oh dear. <laughs> that wasn't the idea. I did want to take it with me just in case I come across any more emergencies. So let's uh, just quickly go and grab that. Hopefully I've got enough room in my inventory. I have. Um, so that's 100 blocks. But I don't think we've got any more... Um, cutting down to do other than just that little bit there once we get past that mostly we are going to be up in the air and I've just got to try and not fall off but we'll stay in the crouching position which hopefully will stop us from falling the only thing that seems to interfere with that is the vines when I come across the vines it seems that uh, I end up accidentally climbing up them uh, which is a bit of a pain but we're coming out of the uh, jungle area soon so oh that's handy we don't have to get rid of these leaves we'll just get rid of a few here so night is falling. I have, you may have noticed, brought a bed with me. Rather than get ourselves into trouble, I'm going to try and avoid the night and we're going to sleep out here on the bridge. Um, okay, still crouched, that's good. Um, what I'd like to do though is just get clear of these trees before we settle down. Uh, let's get rid of this lot. There we go. One, two. Um, oh, there are a few more trees there. We're going to cross some water here. Um, actually, you know what? Sleeping on the bridge probably isn't a good idea because uh, when I get up in the morning, it's going to kick me off to the side of the bed, isn't it? And I'll end up falling in the water. So let's uh, there we go. All right, let's go back. I think it's probably just about dark enough now that we can sleep. Um, where's my bed? There we go. Oops. Um, just there. No. Oh, these vines are such a pain. They stop you from doing anything. There we go. So we can go to sleep now. Morning! Right, ready to get going again. Uh, let's uh, get back up on our bridge if we can, if we can find a way up. Um, oh, what a pain. Uh, here we go. Let's not just knock our way through there with our bed, obviously. Bed is definitely the best thing for chopping down leaves. Did you not know that? Um, let's get a stack of stone bricks on us. Oops. Into our hands, back into crouch position. And let's get going again. Right, let's see if we can get moving a little bit quicker. I think what I'm going to do, rather than keep you watching me placing blocks all the way, I'm going to spin ahead until I've done the blocks, and then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll do the rails. How does that sound? I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we're down to our last stack of stone bricks, which means we are pretty close to the end now. We are coming up to the last little hill, which is, if I remember rightly, this is where I built a little wooden platform and a staircase. And this is basically the 500 block mark, or 505, whatever it was I ended up marking out. Um, I, again, I went slightly over the top, just in case, just in case. Um, but yeah, this is basically our bridge um, carved all the way through. You might have spotted in the, on the way uh, as we travelled along here, although it was quite fast, you might have spotted the uh, the areas. I was talking about some nice big open grass areas. Here we go. This is the 500 and something mark. And we now have a dead straight bridge from one end to the other. Oh, there you go. See the floating islands I was talking about just over there and some big overhangs. So some interesting stuff around here. Um, but where I'm more interested in is back this way a little. Uh, where there is some, um, oh, hello creeper, must be that time of night again, um, where there's some really nice open looking areas over here, uh, which I really want to, I want to look at building in, 
Uh, I've got my main house back in the jungle, that's fine, but I'd like to build a bit of a town. And like I say, once the trophy challenge is over, I'm going to be looking to maybe invite a few people over to, to come and see the world. Uh, I meant to put a powered rail down there. Do you know what? That's not the end of the world. Something I've remembered as well that I, I didn't bring with me is some buttons. We need some buttons at each end of the track, but that's fine. We're going to make our way back to the start of the track now and we'll start building our, our rail. We'll also grab some buttons so that we're ready to go. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully, we'll grab our trophy. I'll see you back at the other end of this bridge. Good morning. Okay, we are ready to start again. That really is a very long bridge. <laughs> it took us all night to get home. Uh, but we're here now and we are ready to get started. So let's see. Let's get these out of my hot bar. Let's get a uh, power rail first of all. It's just the one. And then we're going to do a pattern that says uh, that is laid out as uh, every we'll do five normal rails and then a detector rail. That's the plan, um, and it saves us having redstone torches everywhere. That's the basic idea. Uh, we're going to have uh, one here. I've forgotten how to do this now. That's not right. Uh, what I want is to get rid of you. Um, actually, you know what? That will work. That's fine. Uh, I don't need to change that. We're going to leave that as it is. So we're going to put that there. But what we do need to sort out is our uh, our button to get things started. Uh, what do I do on my crafting table? There it is. So let's stick that there. It's going to have to be a wooden button because I haven't got any stone with me. Uh, they live down here. Uh, wooden button. One, two. Thank you very much. So we'll pop one there. Uh, let's just double check that works. Push that button. There we go. Power. Uh, so let's grab our crafting table just in case we need it again. And we will go one, two, three, four, five. Detector rail. And one, two, three, four, five. Detector rail. I do not like that gap being there. Let's fill that in, shall we? Um, let's pop that there. Let's grab a bit of dirt and just pop it in that hole there. Like I say, my plan is to go back and uh, revisit this entire... Once we've got the trophy and, and that's in the bag, I'm going to go back and we're probably going to have a couple of different train stations along the way at points of interest and different things. Um, but for now, we just want this long, straight track and a trophy at the end of it. One, two, three, four, five, and a detector rail. Hi again everyone. Uh, I imagine some of you have been screaming at your screens if you've been listening to what I've been saying. I've obviously gone brain dead at some point and completely forgotten how detector rails work. Fortunately I remember just in time I was laying these out. One, two, three, four, five, detector. Yeah, that's very good. All this is going to do is detect me. It's not going to actually power me, is it? What I need to do I've had to go off now and make a load of extra powered rails and extra uh, detector rails as well for that matter. But the detector needs to detect you, then it will fire this off and, and send you on your way. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> not quite sure what I was thinking. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm not, I can't be bothered to change that a lot. Those, those can stay as they are. But what we're going to do is we need to just sort of change our, our layout slightly, but it's fine. We've got plenty of materials. Uh, I'm going to spin ahead. We're going to try and get this laid out properly. Uh, just like this, not just one, two, three, four, five detector, but detector, power, detector. That way it will work from both sides. So this side it will pick up that one and shoot me on my way and vice versa. So anyway, I'm going to spin ahead in the video. I will see you at the far end of the track. Okay, so there we go. We're at the other end of the track now. We have um, a button ready to go at this end, which fires up this. We have our detector rails and our power rails ready to go. Not just detector rails, because that would have been a silly thing to do, wouldn't it? Who would have done that? What a wally. Anyway, uh, I think this is basically ready to go. We have 500 and something, 505-ish blocks of rail ready to go. We're going to jump into a minecart, which I also forgot to build, by the way, but I've been and sorted that out since. Um, so we have our minecart ready to go. Um, there's nothing else to do now except get our minecart back. Excuse me, back this way, please. Push this button and let's get going, shall we? Yeah, so uh, heading off this way, uh, there's some big open grasslands that border onto a couple of different biomes. Uh, this is the bit here that I'm really interested in building on. Um, I just like the look of it. I want to build a town here, maybe a hotel, somewhere for visitors to come to my world after the trophy challenge is finished. There's the desert over there. There's a village over that way as well, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, just be ready just in case any of the vines get in the way. Oh, hello, sheepy. Uh, okay, oh, here we go. We're coming to the end of our tunnel now. We are at the end. Is there a trophy for me? Is there a trophy for me? Yes, there is. On a rail. That's trophy number 25. 
I believe. 25, yes it is, 25 out of 29, which means that we only have four trophies left to get. And I'm hoping to get all four of them in the very next episode of this series. The last episode of this series. Or certainly of the challenge. I will probably be looking to continue the uh, the series, the Let's Play series in some way or another. I'm going to use this world. I'm going to use this house. I've done lots of work on this house. But I want to do lots of work in this world. I've got lots of ideas. Things from my other, other seeds and other worlds that I've done that I want to bring to this world. And I'm open to suggestion, guys. If you've got any ideas of something you think I should build in my world or something I should do to my house to improve it, then let me know in the comments section. Give me a like and a subscribe as well. I'd really appreciate it it yeah we got our trophy guys that was that was pretty hard work that one but it was definitely worth it first attempt job done i'll see you in the next episode bye